Okay, so I know I just covered a classic cheating scandal from a few years ago, but this one literally came out as I finished editing said video. Over 2022, there have been some wacky cheating scandals. I've seen articles of people cheating in chess, video games, fishing, pretty much everything under the sun. But this particular instance is one of a kind, because never in my life have I heard of a college kid racing at not just a high school meet, but a state championship high school meet. Where the hell did this all start? Well, it all starts at the UIL Texas State Championships 6A boys race. The favorite to win here was fantastic talent Kevin Sanchez, and after a hard-fought battle through 5,000 meters, he would be the one to cleanly take his second, well-deserved title in a row. But then you watch who second place is, and it doesn't look like a high school kid. He looks well in his 20s and has a University of Texas logo on his tights. That's because this guy is a college athlete. He goes by the name of Brendan Heber, and he's 23 years old. He ran for the Texas Longhorn and has some solid times under his belt. He supposedly ran the entire course from front to back and came in second behind Sanchez. But I wanted to see if he actually ran the full race and how exactly he snuck into this race in the first place. Well, to start, I had to get access to the full live stream to see if anything stood out to me. Surprisingly enough, the stream leading up to the race has no signs of Hebert at all. It's pretty clear cut that you can't really sneak past this camera shot, especially during moments where there weren't many runners on the screen, along with him needing his uniform checked upon on starting the race anyways. Maybe he went behind the camera and mixed in with the rest of the runners somehow at the last second, but to try and answer this question, the live stream sadly is useless after the start since it only captures the back of it and then the finish. But thankfully Milesplit actually recorded some better angles of various places of the race too to post onto their website later. This is where things get pretty confusing because I could not find him at all during the start even with this camera angle. But then it just becomes even stranger when he's nowhere to be found in this shot here too to, where the race has already strung out a bit. Now, I'm not sure if he was maybe ahead of these kids, but the spectators here are not diverting their attention towards anyone but this pack. The next shot they get, he's all of a sudden right at the front with these two. Not long after, the college athlete starts leading the race, but is caught soon by Sanchez and he eventually wins. If you thought this grown adult was already a piece of shit for entering a high schooler's race to begin with, he also had the gall to do a little jersey pop after he finished. After everything was finished up, word got around absurdly fast. And Miles Bud did report on a conversation they had with Heber. I just ran it for fun. I ran it, me and Kevin, I knew Kevin from high school, so I was just running it for fun. You do know that's not allowed, right? You are a college kid. You can't race in a race, correct? I don't run in college anymore. Okay, but you're not in high school. This is a high school sanctioned event. You can't just, and you had a fake bib and a jersey from way back when. Why? After this, Sanchez is then interviewed and said he had no idea who he was and seemed frankly annoyed at Hebert's presence. So how did this grown man actually pull this off temporarily undetected. From what I understand, the jersey he is wearing represents an old high school he went to, which was Lake Travis, and the bib he's wearing was supposedly when he ran at States in 2018. His tights are definitely from college, but let's just ignore that. Now, at the starting line for checkups, it's very likely he would have gotten caught here because Lake Travis was not present at that meet, and after reviewing footage from the original live stream and other race recordings, this is probably the reason why you can't find him at the starting line. One kid on Instagram commented on Miles Split's post, claiming that this guy came out from a neighborhood near the course. And in the very first shot Hebert's visible, it's right next to a bunch of houses, which makes this a possible starting location. It's also funny how little reaction the crowd gives whenever this guy passes by later on in the race, because no one knows who the hell this guy is and how questionably older he looks than the competition. Hold on to it, baby. Once Hebert finished the race, everyone obviously did their digging and found his social media pages, whether it was his Instagram, his Strava, the man got torched everywhere he was posted. His last Instagram post was actually in relation to this specific race, where he stated that excited would be an understatement in context to racing at the state meet since this was posted just the day before. They also found a 5k run he did in Travis County on his Strava, so he was absolutely intending on racing there. He since then changed his Instagram handle, privated his Strava, and after searching the 
the new Insta handle the article posted, it's since been changed again. Kevin Sanchez did make a separate post on his running account with his quick thoughts on the whole situation, and it was actually quite surprising to see people defend Heber to an extent. All of these are pretty immature and garbage points, and Sanchez's statement, if anything, is a bit tame given he had one of his most important races tainted. It's obvious this guy fully intended to enter this race as a serious means of competition for whatever reason, and even though he wasn't mixed in with any other runners for most of the race, it's still just an incredibly shitty and disingenuous thing to do. Overall, this is one of the weirdest things to happen in cross country, but thankfully no one was affected by it in the end. I'm still just trying to wrap my head around the motive behind this guy's decision, because his post-race interview just shows no regrets doing this, and the Instagram post leading up to it made it very obvious he wanted to partake in this. Maybe he just wanted somewhere to race after college and pick the worst option possible. Maybe this guy has some serious mental issues and it's some sort of manic episode he's having. Either way, there's definitely something wrong with this guy to make a decision like this. And despite being a garbage person for entering this race, popping up his jersey afterwards, and just not caring all around, I do hope he's able to get some serious sense knocked back into him or genuine help. And hopefully this doesn't become some weird degenerate trend moving forward. Let's keep the high school cross country degeneracy to kids stuffing themselves in porta potties. Anyways, that's all I wanted to say about it. If you know this guy's his new socials, please don't go out of your way and harass him. I'll see you on whatever video I upload next and take care.